Hello everyone, Robin here and welcome to Winter Survival, or at least the demo. I'm very excited to jump into this game, it looks very promising. So we're going to start a new game here and head in. So it's based in a snow environment, quite obviously, and it's mostly story driven from what I can tell. There is a very, very present story. So right here we're getting chased by a bear. And looks like we're gonna have to make the jump. Oh, fall. If, uh, if that's what you want to do. So, this is a very, very survivally survival game. You'll have to pay attention to temperature, food, hydration. Everything ties in uh, here. What? What the hell just happened? So, we're gonna be doing a lot of scavenging for supplies, crafting, and stuff like that. So... First things first, we need to get warm, so I am extremely cold right now. So, cold. so let's take a quick look around. Well, we've got the canteen on the floor right here, but you see that? I can't pick things up because my body temperature is too low. So we're going to head over to the objective. We can't sprint. We can't do a much of anything right now other than walk. Danger wolves. Great. What the... Actually, what the... That is freaky. God. And it looks like two wolves? Sanity. So, yes, basically you have sanity in this game. Unlike the forest, it seems to actually do something. So, I am not going to go for that parachute right now. We're going to follow the objective and stay well clear. Hopefully I can come back for that though. That would be nice to have, I think. On the left hand side. Oh, on the left hand side you can see my current objective. Wolves are everywhere right now. Which is to find heat, obviously, because I'm extremely cold. I've got frostbite. You can see at the top right. My temperature status. Alright, it looks like we've made our way to a geyser. So we're gonna get a bit of heat right now, you can see. I've already read all these, so I sort of know what's um, what's happening. But you can see my temperature's rising. Lovely. Right, I should be able to go and grab that canteen now. That feels much better. But that's obviously not a priority. Oh no! No no no! Uh, Run! Let's go. I'm not gonna look back. Really want to? I actually really want to look back. But we're just gonna keep running. Hopefully, we can find some way to escape here. Maybe a cliff. Aha! Oh. Oh, not this again. Okay, that was close. So, my health is apparently quite high. My oh, there we go. It just jumped down a bunch. To take care of this. My health is at the bottom left, along with buffs and debuffs okay, on the right-hand side. I, should check inside. I can't sprint, and I'm in a pretty rough shape yet again. But hey, at least the wolves aren't... Aren't following anymore. Okay, so that's the sanity that we talked about. He starts to hallucinate, which is really cool. Something that the forest should have messed with, honestly. So, we've got this cabin here. I hear the wolves. Let's get in and get this fire lit, shall we? Okay, we've got a med kit. We're gonna need that to fix our sprained ankle. Much Let's better. use that. Still Lovely. This cold is Take this wood. And I probably it's should chuck it on this fire here, but the game's waiting to uh, teach me how to do it. Let's chuck the wood on and light up. <sighs> there you go. Awesome. Let's get some kit, and hopefully Fucking tomorrow we'll have some better luck. Oh, terrible. Terrible night. Not right. a good night's sleep. Amazing. Right, so we did leave our backpack apparently. Somewhere. So we're going to follow the objective right now. Yo, I'm sliding! Oh, that's kind of fun. Just over here, I think, right there, <laughs> is my backpack. All the way up there, so... 
I'm gonna have to do a bit of climbing. Here's the canteen. There you are. Lovely. So what we can do is Shit. eat snow it's directly, empty. but that will lower oh. our our temperature down There's quite a lot. So we're not gonna do that. Unless the game really wants me to, so there we go. Plus it gets to show you the uh the cool little effects right there. So now I've got the canteen and a little bit of water, I guess. We're gonna try and get this backpack. So I'm gonna need the stuff that's in it. So, right here, I have got some bear out. tracks. So what we can do is a lot like Red Dead Redemption, we can enter Hunter Mode, which basically reveals tracks. Very cool to have. Ooh. Raw potatoes. I'll take that, thank you. We're gonna follow these tracks just a little bit up here. It just keeps getting worse. I hope they're okay. Ooh, which has brought me to some water. Look at that. I wonder if this is drinkable. Let's find out. See if we can top up our water. We can. It doesn't look very drinkable, but... I think it's actually hot water right now. Warm. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna fill it up. Completely before we leave. Awesome, so guys, water is really good, apparently. So, let's follow these tracks here. Seems to be going all the way to... Whatever this is. Bridge. The trail ends here. Oh. They probably reached the other side, but now the bridge doesn't look very stable. Yeah, I Find don't want to go on that. That's I'm just not ready yet. Not something I want to do. I think I saw their camp on the way. Maybe I can help myself to what's left. So apparently, my guy saw their camp. We've got a hand icon. That is probably my backpack, and then just through here. Oh, I thought I had something. Got some supplies. A food ration. Awesome. So we can cook that when we get back to the cabin. Let's go and get our bike back. Okay, carefully drop down here. And retrieve the backpack. Got it. Awesome. It's about right. time to head back. I have everything I think I need. Really cool animation going into the backpack, by the way. I really like that. Right, let's head back to the cabin, cook some food, and probably sleep again, honestly. Make sure to close the door on the way in. Of course. I'm out of wood. Oh. I have to cut a tree. Time to go choppy choppy. And we got the axe right what here. We have here. Lovely. Okay, let's put that on our hotbar so we can access it. And do the one thing the forest was made famous for. Let's see what the chopping animation's like. We're gonna go for a small tree, I think. I don't want to chop anything too big right now. I am quite hungry, so... Okay. Do I hold left click? I do! Going for a decent sized tree. That's not too bad. Timber! Never mind. We're stuck. Wow, okay. Let's try and break this up into sticks. There we go. Wooden chunks. Probably don't want to carry too much of this stuff because it will get heavy. But that will do for now. Let's get the fire going, shall we? Find fresh water. Now what we can do is chuck our food on here and that is going to cook. Uh, it might take a little while, so I'm going to go and chop another tree while I'm waiting. I'm going to try and not burn it. Okay. A little bit of extra wood can't hurt. Gotta head back quickly though, because I do not want that food to burn. That would be bad. Looks like we've got a fresh water source just around the back of the cabin, so that will definitely come in handy here. Not sure if I should be running that much. Warm food ration. Not the tastiest, but we'll keep you going. But it never tasted so good. Awesome. Fire roasted potato. I will take that. Thank you very much. Right, let's get some sleep, and hopefully tomorrow, we'll be able to get something done. Fuck. Or not. Jesus. Am I hallucinating? I mean, it's pretty convincing. Definitely not hallucinating. Oh, 
Whew. How about that for your morning alarm? Right. Well, you could still be there. Jeez. If this bastard approached from the other side. Oh yeah, there's a hole in the side. I gotta fix this thing up. Quest started. Meet your neighbor. The bear. It's bleeding. Oh, so it is. Okay. Well, I can track it down. But right now, I think I want to fortify my hut a little bit here. I should fix this right away. There is a gigantic hole. Okay. Looks like we could make some planks here. Let's craft a few of these. I can also make some tarp fabric. Not sure what that recipe is or that item is. Broken trap. Bear trap? Well, I'll see if I can repair this really quickly so we can inspect. And then chuck okay. items in. It's not great. So we've repaired the wall, but for the roof, I need some tarp. So, all we can do really now is adventure, I think. I think my current objective is to... Ah, yes it is. On, on the left-hand side, find a way to get to the parachute. So that's where we're going to get the tarp from to repair the roof. Hopefully the wolves aren't around here. But we're back to that geyser. So I can heat up before I carry on. Because I'm relatively uh, chilly right now. Okay, now I'm warm. Let's get our jog on. And try and go and get that parachute. So this is the path I took to run away from the wolves, actually. Hopefully I'm not running into a trap. Can I jump up here? Thank you. Well, there it is. Got some crows circling. I have to get this parachute off the tree. You want to yell it a bit louder? Or I could just get rid of the whole tree. Well, just tell me how to do it, why don't you? Would have been nice for a little puzzle. All right, let's get to it. Oh, guy. What's got him stuck here? Oh dear. Ah, there's the parachute. Awesome. Updated. Right, we have to go break that down into some top, so... Let's head back. Okay, let's break this parachute down. It's right here. Craft one of those. Okay. This there we have it. Inside. Awesome. I want to see that from the outside. That looks so scuffed. I can't even see it from the outside. It's not too bad, actually. Right. The bear. The bear is bleeding. I don't want to follow it that way. That's just going to be bad, so... I want to see where it came from. Honestly, it's quite beneficial to stay in this mode. Oh! Mode right here. Raw deer meat. Jesus, because you find so much stuff that you wouldn't normally find. Really handy. Like that. I think that's an onion. Oh, potatoes. Ooh. Got a little hunting tower right here. Ooh. I see. A hunting trap. So... Right here we have, I think, rabbit holes. So, I can probably snatch a few rabbits quite easily. Yeah, right here. I think that's what it's telling me to do. Find the second trap part in the area. <gasps> Raw rabbit meat! I got the now second I trap part! This. I think I saw proper tools inside the shelter. Awesome! Right, so we've got a good supply of food with this trap and rabbits. Good to know. Right, so let's do some crafting here. Let's get this trap up and running. That should work. Broken trap part and craft. Okay. Look at that. I should set up a trap as soon as I can. You can also cook some of the potatoes and carrots I got earlier. Let's check on the deer meat, actually. And the rabbit meat. Lovely. So the story behind this game, I believe I was separated from a group of friends. I'm just going off the dialogue uh, that my guy has spoken, so 
I'm pretty sure, you know, the camp where we got the, the food ration from earlier, I think that was their camp, and they went over the bridge, which has now decayed and collapsed. So, we have to find a way over the bridge to continue pursuing our friends. Okay, while I've got some potatoes roasting, and just before the sun sets... Wow, that is really quite stunning. Let's go and chuck down this bear trap. Hopefully we can get some fresh rabbit for the morning. Okay, let's set that up right here. It's very dark, so I can barely see what I'm doing. Oh. oh my god. Uh, we're just gonna chill? Are we not gonna run? Oh, you're not supposed to run, are you, actually? Wow! And that's the end of the demo. I mean, I guess it is a demo, but I was expecting just a touch more, but hey. That was really good. That was a very, very promising demo for the game right there. So I just did the survey right here to give the team some feedback. And uh, yeah, it was only 15 questions. It was rather short. So there we have it. Winter Survival. The demo was really good, actually. There's obviously a few things that need polish. Um, I personally think the controls was a bit off. Uh, a few things just felt a little bit strange. But in terms of the visuals and everything like that, the gameplay, the commentary, the you know the voiceover, everything, it was it was really good actually. I think the UI, the background, obviously could have a little bit of polish on it. It looks a little bit messy, but I know that's what they're going for. But hey, if you want to check this out on Steam, you can do so using the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video.